Okay, here we are, part two of the Arai Profile Helmet video. Let's start off with the controversial shield mechanism here. It needs to be all the way in the up position. You're going to see here that when you pull it all the way up, it exposes this release handle. Okay, it's a little gray handle with an up arrow on it. Mirror image, both sides. I like to grab it like so with my index fingers, pull up, both of them. You can pull one up at a time, whatever works for you. You can feel it release, you can hear it release, and pull the shield off the helmet. Don't be all nervous and sit there. If, if you know it released, you felt it released, just go ahead and pull the shield off because a good quick removal works better than sitting there and playing with it. Let's just kind of show you those tabs real quick if we can, Eric. It's a little easier to see them when you have the, uh, the shield off. And I, I don't know that we're going to be able to get in there and, and show you any of the mechanism because it's really hidden by the side pod. But, you know, there is, there is always quite a bit of talk about this shield. Oh, you know, these are, these are hard to change. It's, it's kind of a strange shield mechanism. Personally, I, I kind of disagree with that. I think it's pretty easy to work with. To reinstall, it's, it's pretty simple as well. What you need to do is you need to slide the shield in, and it's basically going to sandwich itself between the outer pod and the white plastic shield pivot mechanism. You can clearly see it. If you're not careful, you can slide this and it'll want to go behind the, sh the white plastic shield between the uh, helmet shell and the pivot mechanism. Get it back there, push it in, work it around a little bit so it's clearly on the pivots. Just push it down both sides. You can clearly see that it's installed properly. One last time. Both releases up. Shield off. Okay. Take and dip it in like so. Like so. The key is do not let that shield slide behind that white plastic shield pivot. Get it into the pivots, push it back a little bit. Bam. There you go. Let's show you how the liner comes out. The top, top pad and the cheek pad is both removable. Neck roll is not removable. Okay, But there is a tab from the neck roll that is actually into the cheek pad that needs to be slid out. Pull this corner of the cheek pad down. Grab the leading edge of the neck roll. You can actually feel the little tab that's up in there. Pull it out. Same thing, both sides. Bam. Out. I like to grab the cheek pad at the, the front and the top. The back portion of the cheek pad is basically, you know, it's the uh, EPS material, similar to what's in the top of the helmet. So it's firm. You can grab it. Here it is. You can pull this cover off. We've shown you how to do this in other videos. Wash just the cover. Put it back on. Put it together. When you take the cover off, probably... The key is to remember that, you see this valley that's cut into the EPS there in the foam? This mesh panel has to cover that valley. That'll help you get this cover oriented properly on the cheek pad again. It can be confusing if you don't pay attention when you take it off. And then you'll see here that this black leading edge, the front of the cheek pad with the clip, needs to be exposed through this hole. And in the back, the locator tab is right here and there is a hole in the cheek pad cover there. So pretty simple. Repeat that process. I don't know if Eric can catch us or not, but I'm sliding my finger in between the EPS backing of the cheek pad and the actual helmet shell. And just like that, you can feel it release, hear it release, pull it out. Piece of cake. Top pad, super simple. We have snap. Two snaps at the back, easy to find because the top pad pulls away and it exposes the snaps very clearly. So it allows you to get your thumb and your index finger on the plastic backing and pull it and you don't risk any damage to the helmet. Here is the top pad for the profile. Once again, you can replace these independently to help tune the fit and the feel of the helmet if you need to. You can wash them or you can replace them. Here is the EPS interior of the helmet. Another thing I'd like to touch on real quick is the fact that Arai, in this area here in the forehead, will not drill any holes in their helmets. They feel that if you put any holes in the EPS in this area, that it reduces the integrity of the EPS and thus lessens its ability to protect you properly in the event of a fall. So they're very adamant about putting no holes here in the EPS. 
They try to keep them all towards the top of the helmet where, you know, in their mind, it's okay to, you know, influence the integrity of the EPS there. But up here, very critical zone, especially a lot of the front style impacts. So, very critical. That's why we have the ductwork for the vents here instead of holes up in the top in the forehead area. There is the naked interior. You can also, if you choose to do so, you can remove the chin strap covers. What you'll see is it's going to be hard to show on camera. We've done it on the, uh, <clears throat> the Quantum. It's just really hard to pick it up. There are some plastic pieces that essentially slide over and clip onto the metal part of the chin strap that is riveted to the shell. You just kind of pull that away. The clip will release. You can slide it off. It's a little tedious, but it can be done. So just look for the plastic clip at the top of the chin strap cover and you'll be able to figure that out. It's really not that hard. A little bit tedious. Go ahead and push your four snaps. Two in the front, two in the back. Top pads back in. The cheek pads, the back of the EPS, the cheek pads are marked with their size in millimeters as well as which side it goes into. Okay. This is our left side here. Go ahead and feed your chin strap through the hole in the cover and the cheek pad. And what you'll find sometimes is that the chin strap cover wants to bunch up a little bit in there. You've got to make sure that you pull that whole cover through the hole in the cheek pad as well. You don't want that bunched up behind there. I've got that. Now, the back portion of the cheek pad has the locating tab that gets sandwiched between the EPS and the shell of the helmet. You can look back there and kind of see how it dips in. Once again, it's going to be hard for the camera to pick that up. Get that oriented and then push in on the front of the cheek pad, very clearly engaged. You could hear it, you could feel it. Go ahead and grab your cheek pad here in that corner, pull it away, grab the tail of the neck roll, and slide it up into that pocket right there. Boom, perfect. Let's go to the other side, and essentially just repeat the process we've done for the left cheek pad, chin strap through the hole, now, I know these, these service portions of the video get kind of long-winded, but if you're going to do some service on this down the road, I think these are great reference for you to come back to if you're disassembling and reassembling your helmet. You know, if you forget anything, you know, something just doesn't feel right, seem right, you can go back to this and I think it'll help you. Let's go ahead and the back portion of the cheek pad, slide the locating tab between the EPS and the helmet shell. Kind of feel that dip right in there, like so. You know, like I said too, you can actually go back and see it. Pull the neck roll back a little bit. Push in. You can feel it clip. Hear it clip. Pull down on the cheek pad. Slide the locator tab for the neck roll in. And voila, we have a perfectly reassembled interior for our Arai Profile Helmet.